right, we are back with some Slime Rancher 2. I am in the Starlight Strand, the southern island. Last time we explored the Ember Valley quite a bit. And this time, we've got a few things to explore here. I'm going to pop these two slimes, see what they're guarding. This one, this butterfly slime, um, they eat... Nectar, Moondew, Nectar. I don't know where to get this. No, I don't know how to pop this guy. We'll look around, see if we can find something to feed him. Find some Nectar. Uh, there's also other things I need to explore. There's a tree there. Right in the center of the island. I don't think I've been there before. So, I've got my meat. Hopefully this is enough meat to blow up those two slimes. Alright, we want to go south. Oh, the tree is up there. Let's see if we can get up there. Okay, there's the tree. I'm hearing battle music. I don't see any tar slimes, though. Aha, there's a pod. Ah, dash boot module. Nice. Okay, there is a hole down there. There's a platform right over there. Hmm. I might want to check that out. Let's try the hole. Aha! Uh -huh. We've been here before, but I missed this. And we got a strange diamond. Awesome. So if I need strange diamonds, those are pretty rare, I think. So if I need one, I can come under the hole. Uh, into the hole under the tree. Yep, and this is just right down here. We were just here. Oh, is that a do? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no. I need it. Perfect. I need more of those. I need a lot more of those. Okay, so they they form on these white flowers. At night, apparently.
All right, we're carrying a lot of chickens. I need to get rid of these. So let's head over here. Ah, oh, there's a dew. It'll be a while before I can get enough to... for that butterfly, I think. Okay, I think I've talked to that guy before. Or do. Alright, I gotta be on the lookout. Uh, there's more do. Sea hen, I'll take you. All right, let's have a look around. We will go to the angler first. Gonna be right down here. There you are. I think he's hiding a geyser. He's sitting on a geyser. Yep, that's just an easy way back up. Okay, no upgrades, but I'll take it. There's some dew. Okay, you are a ringtail gordo, and you'll take any meat. You're getting bigger. There should be enough meat. I brought a lot. Stop it. Oh, a portal. Hang on, I don't want to go in there yet. I don't know where that portal is going to take me. So I don't want to step in just yet. Before I go in... I gotta feed this dew to the... Butterfly Gordo. Hey!
Okay, straight west is the Butterfly Gordo. He's up there. Let's see what's over here. We got a spooky hole. Do I dare? Yes. Oh, I've been here. I must, uh... I must have got that, um... Uh, while I wasn't recording or something. I don't remember it. Well, I hope I can get back up. Yep. Yeah. do lying around well we have 11 that's not going to be enough hey come back here so we're going to have to come back later And just explore around for more dew. Ah, you guys mind? There's a door. Oh, I can't make it. We got a door there with no clue how to open it. Something behind here. Oh god, these tars are everywhere. What is... Are these dues? No. Alright, what's over here? Can we go around back? Oh, that's new. I don't think I've been down there. Let's try it. at the edge of the world and I see a pod power chip upgrade the vax power core heck yeah oh you're angry go away Okay, no new slimes. Well, 
Well, we got that upgrade, which was good. Let's head through the portal. And I think we've been down there. It was a Gordo slime over there. Yeah, there's a door down there that we opened a long time ago. Oh, this is not the right, not the right one. There we go, that's the portal. Let's see where it goes. Oh. Okay, that's a shortcut. Okay, that's neat. I'm all about shortcuts. Let's see if we can make that um, upgrade, the vac upgrade. Three. Oh, I need more wild honey and primordial oil. Okay, that won't be a problem. I can get more wild honey when I go back to the starlight strands. Uh, because I have to go back there anyway to get more nectar for that dude. But while I'm here, I can feed my Slimes? You guys will eat this, right? Yeah. Our corrals are completely full on ports. It's, uh... Kind of ridiculous. Let's see, what are you eating? Uh, briar? Oh no, stony hens. And I have got so much money. Can I upgrade this? More storage space. More storage space. More storage space. I don't really need to be storing all of that, but... Stony hens. Where's my stony hens? Oh my god, there was a... hen explosion. There's too many. Good God. This is... This is ridiculous. Stony hens.
My Yoki slime doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Oh, wait a minute. Is that an egg? Do I want to crack that? Let's uh, read up on the slime again. As far as I remember, it was very specific on when to crack these eggs. Produce a rare delight, a giant egg full of chicks and yolky plorts. Yolky slimes can only inspire the production of giant eggs when nearby chickens are able to reproduce. Slime ranchers should also note that giant eggs will only produce yolky plorts when they are yolk, when they are fresh and the yolk inside is still glowing. Yep, it's glowing. Uh, let's try it. Chickadoo. Those are regular chicks, okay. Yoki Plort. How much are these worth? 73, right there. But do I need them for upgrades? Uh, they're gonna be rare, so I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna drop them in there for upgrades if I need them later. I don't really need the money. There you go, there's your stony hens. Alright, you guys eat. I'm feeding you regular hens? Okay. Sounds good. Let's go into our cave and feed our boomer slimes. And we got a few slimes in here that need food. Hey guys. What am I feeding you? I got nothing. You guys love prior hens. Okay, you guys got... Here, here's a few hens for you. I think you're meat eaters. You guys need food. We gotta get this ash pile up. Give me your plorts. Gimme. Ow. Holy cow. Oops. Alright, the fire plorts. I think I'm gonna put those in the fabricator. I'll put a few boomer plorts, boom plorts in there as well. 
think they're used for a few upgrades. Alright, last housekeeping thing I want to do. I want to feed sea hens. Uh, we'll grab these as well. All right, sea hens. Okay, and next time... I'm going to... Yeah, you guys should be eating sea hens. Uh, next time I'm going to try to find... I'm going to look around for a bunch of... Dews to feed the butterfly Gordo, the big dude. Because he's got to be guarding something good. Alright. Let's give these pomegranates to the bats. I'll just dump all these hens in here. They can munch on them all they want. Now, I just don't know what to do with all this money. I am... rich. I hear something. What is that? Oh. Uh, can I get to you? Let's see. Hey, buddy. Oh, mushrooms, my first love. I still remember the day mom told me that they aren't actually plants. I couldn't believe it. After I got that field guide, I would always sneak into the forest with grandma's old suitcase and collect as many as I could. When she found out, mom was so upset. But I think she was more upset about grandma's suitcase than anything else. I didn't know it was special to her. Hmm. I wonder if these uh, diary entries were written by someone we've met before. Maybe from the previous game? Speaking of people we've met before, we do have some messages. Let's uh, go through them real quick. Victor Humphreys. Oh, hell yo, I must tell you, I saw this item and just screamed Beatrix. And that's how I realized I'd accidentally hit it with the sentience ray. But don't worry, everything is fine and very normal now. Anyway, I thought you should have it. Enjoy. Oh, nice. Red home portal. Moki. Hello, Beatrix. Guess who's the luckiest person in the galaxy? Is it me? That's right. It's you. Because you've got a gift from the Moki Miles. I'll let that sink in. Go ahead and sit if you need to. Root Arches. Well, thank you. I prefer the other guy's um, gift more, but that's okay. Hey, Ogden. Hola, Beatrix. It's good to see you. I do hope you've been taking care of yourself out there. Taking time to fill your belly before every new descent into the unknown. Well, I haven't eaten anything since I started this game, so... Also, I understand that the plot has thickened like a good sauce, and you've encountered some kind of monolithic structure out there on the far end of the island. I've encountered a lot of 
things that you could describe as monolithic structures, yeah. Scary stuff. But then maybe my hunch is correct that all the strange flora out there is not natural. Something just doesn't add up here, Beatrix. All the ruins we've discovered across the far, far range have never looked as though... Never looked as though they've harmed the environment in any way. Sure, we don't know their purpose or who built them, but the feeling I always had was, they, was that they had respect for this world. But maybe it happened anyway. Sometimes when you're out hiking, you step over a flower so as not to crush it, only to step on another. Sometimes the only way for those flowers to keep on growing is for you to have never been there near them in the first place. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rainbow Island still seems to be thriving for now. Nature can find a balance, but it's not a guarantee. Ah, look at me, getting preachy on you. Lo siento, Beatrix. I won't keep you. I don't know what you'll find beyond the walls. But I trust your boots in any garden. I know you'll do what's right. Good luck, Beatrix. Is he talking about the wall... I mean, there's literally a giant wall over here that we can't get past. That might be what he's talking about. Or it could be a metaphor. Who knows? Okay, Thor, what's up? Oh, B. Glad I was able to catch you. I have some big news to share. And this rock isn't exactly bustling with folks who, whose ears I can bend. Hobson and I have been thinking a lot about what new adventure is next for us. We've been reading each other's travels, journals, trying to find places neither of us have been. But even though we found some, none of them were really calling to us. Maybe things were finally slowing down for us? Then we got to talking and came to realize what we love more than anything right now is just being here with one another on my ranch. Yeah, looking at your background, it looks like a nice little ranch. You got the cube berries, lettuces... Uh, not sh sure what that is. And it uh, looks very colorful. This ranch was one of the first on the far, far range. And we both learned so much. So we started talking about maybe passing all that on to someone. So Hobson and I have decided to start a family bee. And for the first time in a long time... For, for the first time in so long as I can remember, I'm scared. Hobson and I are both so independent, we don't know the first thing about being parents. Let alone raising a kid on the far, far range. Aren't you a bit old to... Think about starting a family? But I love that old coot, and the thought of seeing one... Being a little one looking back at me with his eyes makes me smile. I think that alone makes me feel like I'd, I'd move a mountain to make this happen. So I've got some work to do here. So much to get in order. Thanks for hearing me out, B. Sometimes just sharing your fears with someone makes you feel like you're no longer alone with those fears. Take care, B. Alright, well, good luck. Hey, Bob. Actual human Bob. What's going on? Special delivery. Have a great chickens. Rainbow lumps. Awesome. Well, oh, there's more? More from Bob. Hello, human person. Yoki. Yoki plus chickens. Chicky, 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 chicky. Yoki doki? Yep. I got a yoke and I put it next to the chickens already. Thanks, Bob. Next time, I want to pop that guy and see what's behind him. There's a big giant door over here. Maybe he'll open it. So, I'm going to do that. 